So I have some general comments from Coach Coyne. Well, first of all, great win for us. Um, you know, you always wonder how you're going to react to having two weeks off and having a bye over the weekend. But I thought, I thought we responded well. I thought we were ready to go uh, from the drop of the puck. I thought that we had the grit element and the uh, toughness that we're going to need to have success against this team. And overall, it was just a really, uh, really good effort by our guys. Couple of lapses, obviously, you get up six to one and you get a little sloppy, but I thought for the most part we did a lot of good things. Quinny Mark said that his team improved on their shooting percentage. How do you feel about your team shooting percentage? Well, it can get better, <laughs> but the fact that we we're able to put you know forty plus shots on net, uh, I'll take that. Six goals is a lot especially against that team and that goalie. But we earned them. I mean, they were all you know, hardworking, net front, winning battles. Uh, I think we had one probably highlight reel goal. But for the most part, it was just roll your sleeves up and win a battle on the wall and stay with rebounds at the net front. Don't be denied. I mean, they, they do a great job defending, and you've got to have a physical aspect to your game offensively if you're going to create chances for yourself. I thought we did that. I thought we were, you know, there was a net front presence in our game, and when we were at the net front, we were physical. I thought our D were really good on the offensive blue line. I thought our forwards were patient. You know, they weren't playing three on five hockey by holding on to it down low. We kept kicking it out to the points and loosening things up a little bit. And, you know, uh, got pucks to the net. That's, that's how you have to score at this time of year, especially against that team. First period, just one to one, but you know, just dominated the shots. And just Team looked really solid right out of the gate. It's kind of encouraging to see because that's not exactly been a strong. Point right. No, it was. It was really. Uh, you know, we were happy. You know, it's one-one at the first, and you feel like you did a lot of good things. And you know, uh, that being said, you know, start of the second, our goalie made a huge save. They could have gone up two to one, and, and Matt O'Connor. You, know, you look at the score of the shots. You don't think your goalie had much to, to do with the win, but timing's everything. You know, when you can. 1-1 and he makes a save early in the second period to keep it at 1-1 and allows us to get up 2-1. You know, and then I think we kind of rode the momentum off of that. But I thought, thought the first three or four minutes of the second period, they were doing a good job uh, you know, hemming us in a little bit. And, you know, once Matt made that big save, I thought we settled down and did a really good job in the second period. Their penalty kill has been really good all season. It was really good last weekend. You score twice, get 20 shots on goal on the power plays. Was that a lot of the same kind of stuff that you just Yeah, that being said, I didn't love our power play tonight. I know I'm sound like the grumpy coach, but uh, you know, I thought we kind of slowed it up a little bit. I thought we allowed them to get in shooting lanes, and I, I, I was surprised we had 20 shots on the power play. But um, you know, I think we need to be better. I thought we got a little bit away from doing the things we've been doing for the most part all year. I thought our pace kind of slowed down a little bit. Um, but you know, I'll take two for, two for eight all game long. Was Steve Dalkey's guy? Yeah, well, you can't you can't personally scout anybody. The NCAA doesn't allow you to, but you get film, and we certainly have a great idea of what you know, what they're all about. Just like they have a great idea of what we're all about. There's no real secret in, in our game anymore. Um, end of the day, it comes to when you throw a puck into a corner, who's willing to win the battle and the grit and determination. I mean, uh, you know, you know, as coaches, we get caught up in the video and the X's and the O's, but it's more about the Larrys and the Joes. And it seemed like Brandon Fortunato was doing a lot of good things tonight. What did you think of his game tonight? He's been doing a lot of good things for a long time. He's had a great year. Uh, he's got playing with a lot of confidence, moving his feet, moving the puck. You know, for a small guy, he defends well. He's got an active stick. He's on the right side of people. I thought our D overall played well tonight. I thought that you know, we did a nice job coming through the neutral zone, putting him on the heels a little bit. So, you know, it was, uh, he certainly had a good night. Obviously. Five defensemen and kind of mixing and matching lines a little bit. Worked out pretty well tonight, but you know, were you concerned about that at all going in? You know, we've played, uh, this is our third game with 5D, and the other two games, our D core played very well. And, you know, I think our D, when we 
get to play like that and get in the rhythm, and actually you might play better. So I wasn't worried about the fatigue factor, you know, get the TV timeouts. And, you know, our guys are smart on their changes and not staying out too long. And Christ of 18 and 22 years, years old, they're going to never be tired. <laughs> Any idea if McLeod has a chance to get back in the line soon? Uh, he might be able to play tomorrow night. Anything else? Thanks, coach. All right, thank you.